pause the video now guys and try question one to four looking at implicit differentiation okay a topic that is very likely to appear okay on your aqa paper two nxr paper two ocr a paper two and ocr mei b paper two okay so this is a hot topic that is likely to come up here on your paper two exam because it did not appear on your paper one exam okay so pause the video try these questions okay question number one a curve is nine natural log x cos y equals zero find the other dx now how do i know it's an implicit differentiation guys well it's a function so i've got x equals a function of y okay i cannot rearrange it to get it in the form y cos f of x so we use the method of implicit differentiation okay which the way it works is you differentiate the function of x as you normally would when you differentiate y you stick on a dy by dx at the end of it okay so whenever you differentiate a function involving y okay you stick on a dy by dx at the end of it okay so for question one we're going to use the product rule okay to work out dy by dx is okay first step is i'm, I'm going to divide both sides by nine okay because nine is just a constant okay I'm going to get natural log x or ln x cos y is equal to zero. Zero divided by nine is just zero. Okay, just to make it a bit easier. Now the product rule states, okay, I've got two functions being multiplied together. I've got natural log x times cosine of y. So that's why I'm going to use the product rule. Okay, whenever you're multiplying two functions together, so f of x times g of x, okay. Step one, label it as u. So u equals natural log of x. V equals cos y. Okay. So du by dx. So differentiating natural log x goes to one over x as it normally does. Okay. And then the derivative of um v with respect to y so dv by dy so cos y goes to minus sine y okay and then i stick on a dy by dx at the end of it okay so always remember that yeah for implicit differentiation okay whenever you differentiate a function of y you just stick on a dy by dx at the end okay and then now use the formula which is given to you in the formula book dy by dx of uv is v the u dx so v du dx plus u dv dx okay again all it doesn't matter here so we're going to have cos y over x okay this times this okay plus okay in this case you have been minus minus a sine y Okay, log x dy by dx. Okay, that's also equal to zero. Okay, because obviously when you differentiate zero, it goes to zero. Okay, but be careful actually, guys. Yeah, okay, if it's like 2x, okay, then obviously differentiate the right side of here as normal. Okay, obviously it's equal to zero here. So I'm going to add this to both sides. Okay, we're going to have cos y over x. is equal to sine y natural log of x dy by dx okay so rearrange it to get dy by dx so divide both sides by sine y natural log x so your final answer will read okay cos y over x sine y natural log y sorry natural log x sorry i apologize for that okay equals divided by the x and that guys is our answer to question number one okay which is worth two marks okay so this is quite a nice topic actually in my eyes to pick up marks on okay so if you need to actually yeah, revise this topic if you need to watch this video yeah, watch this video yeah as many times as you want Okay, if it helps you, that's question one done. Okay, question number two, guys. Find the gradient of the curve 
okay, 3x squared y minus x is equal to zero when x equals a third. So we differentiate the function and then we substitute in x equals a third into our dy by dx, okay, function. Okay. So again, step one, use the product rule yeah, for this. Okay. So I'll try to see a, be, be able to see a bit quicker actually here actually. So differentiate 3x squared, that'll be 6x. So 6x times y. Okay. And then differentiate y, which goes to 1. Okay. So plus. So 1 times 3x squared. Okay. And then you stick on a derivative of the x at the end. Okay, remember, when it's a function of y. Okay. Sorry, guys, about my jerkiness here. Sorry about this. I apologize, guys. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. The venture minus x goes to minus 1. And again, the derivative of 0 is equal to 0. Okay. But now rearrange this to make dy by dx the subject. So add 3x squared dy by dx to both sides. Okay, and then divide by 3x squared. So you, you'll get 6xy. Okay. Minus 1. Okay, over 3x squared. Is equal to dy by dx. But I'm, I'm just double checking you guys here. Have I made a mistake or not? Because it says when x is the third. So we'll put in one third into here. So 6 times a third goes to 2. So you're going to have 2y minus 1 over 3 times 1 third squared. Well, 1 third squared is 1 ninth. 3 times 1 ninth is going to be 3 ninths. We divide this by a third. Essentially, we multiply this by 3. Okay, divided by a third. Okay, using our division rules of fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll have 3 lots of 2y plus 1, okay? And that, guys, is our answer, okay? We've not got a value of y here, okay? So that is definitely the correct answer, okay? Okay. Sorry. My apologies, sorry. Yeah. It should be a minus 3, sorry. So that again, I should just double check it. So it should be minus three at the front. Okay, there we go. Because yeah, when you subtract it, it becomes yeah, minus three x squared. Okay, there we go. Okay. And that guys is my answer for question number two. Okay. Okay. What about question number three? Again, using implicit differentiation. Okay, we're going to differentiate this function. Okay, x equals a function of y. Okay, so step one, use the product rule for this. Again, obviously, take off the match here. So differentiate the first part, so that becomes 9x squared. Okay, oh. sorry guys, my, my keyboard's got a bit like jerky. So 9x squared times y squared and then differentiating y squared goes to 2y so you have plus 6x cubed y and then do have a dx and the next part yeah also uses the product rule so differentiate minus xy or differentiate xy. So differentiate minus x goes to minus one or minus y. 
Okay, and then differentiating y goes to one and to have any x, so we have minus x dy dx. equals zero. So, sorry, yes, yeah, so it's on the page there. Rearrange it to make dy by dx. So, okay, so we're going to add this with us here, yeah, and subtract that. So we're going to have 9x squared y squared okay, minus y, if I'm not mistaken, is equal to x do have a dx you know, I'll, I'll put it like a little bracket here so do have a dx okay. bracket here so sorry that I'm dropping like a step here so that'll be x minus 6x cubed okay never worry about obviously factorizing it in full okay because we're always just actually rearranging it to obviously make the arbitrary x here. Obviously, the subject divide both sides by x minus 6x cubed y. Sorry, I've, I've got the y there. Okay. We have 9x squared y squared. Minus y. All over. Sorry, guys. My 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 keypad has been a bit like jerky to so up. Yeah, sorry about that. X minus six x cubed y is equal to zero. Okay, that's part A done. Now, what does part B say? Part B says, find an equation linking x and y at the stationary points. So we set dy by dx equal to zero. And we solve, in this case, the numerator. Okay, we're going to have 9x squared y squared minus y equals zero. Okay, so we want to solve it to have x in terms of y or y in terms of x. Now, I think the best way for this, okay, is to rearrange it to make x the subject here, because that'd be a bit more easier. So, we're going to add y to both sides and then divide by um, 9y squared. So, I have x squared equals 9, sorry, equals y over 9y squared. The y's just cancel, so I get x squared equals one ninth. Sorry, 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 one y, sorry, it cancels, yeah, sorry. So you have you have x squared, sorry, yes, yeah, so you have x squared equals one over nine y, sorry. And then you have x equals plus or minus. 1 over, okay, 3 root y, okay, so you have x equals 3 plus or minus 1 over, because if you root this here, the root of the top root of one is just one, and then root nine y. I can split that as root nine times root y, hence why I get plus or minus here one over three root y. Okay, I'm trying to make here like as simple as actually possible. Okay, I mean I could actually rationalize that to make it even easier. So times up here yeah, top and bottom by root y. So I get I'll get root y on the top of here. See plus or minus. So root y. Um, over three, okay, 
So x equals that, okay, which actually looks actually pretty obviously grim. Obviously plus and minus. Okay, but if I want to, I can now rearrange it here to obviously make x uh, y to obviously make it a bit easier. Okay, either way it doesn't really matter. So y over three. Okay, because if I re if I rearrange it here, so y will actually equal to 9x squared, okay, that is another way of doing it, okay. I can now substitute, yeah, sorry, that's part B done. Part C, find the equation, or yeah, use the equation here, and the equation of the curve to find the stationary point, okay, of the curve. So, we're going to substitute okay this into our original equation okay and solve it yet if i'm not mistaken okay because actually no sorry yeah so we know that 9x squared minus sorry 9x squared actually y squared minus y equals zero that's my stationary point so if i sub it in to here okay i'm going to have 9x squared times 81x to the power of 4 okay so i'm going to have 81 times 9 okay which is 729 okay x to the power of 6. Okay, because when you have y squared, yeah, you'll have 9x squared, actually, all squared. So you have 9 squared, and then you have x squared, all squared, yeah. Using laws of indices, I get x to the power of 4. And then when I combine it, I get x to the power of 6 minus 9x squared. Oops, sorry. Is equal to zero okay solve this quadratic okay it's just double, just double check here it is 81 times that sorry i'll do, do that in my head yeah it is yeah sorry so factorize out a 9x squared we're gonna have nine x squared, guys. So sorry, obviously taking a while actually. Yeah. Sorry for taking a while. But yeah. If, yeah. If you ever need to obviously skip here yeah, any relevant bits, okay. Brackets. Eighty one x to the power of four. Okay. And then minus one. I and mean, hopefully you can see. Inside the bracket, I've got the difference of two squares. Okay, obviously there's a power of four here, but same idea. Okay. So when we factorize the yeah, bit that's in the bracket here, we're gonna have nine x squared. Brackets nine x squared plus one times nine x squared minus one. Okay. Think of different two squares, guys. 81x to the power of 4. Okay, 81 here is a square number. Oh, my keypad is annoying me today. There we go. I have 1 plus 9x squared times 1 minus 9x squared. Okay, this bracket here actually we actually can't solve, but you but your solutions okay when you rearrange it okay sorry again actually I'm jumping like steps here, so you solve nine x squared here equals zero, so x squared here equals zero, x equals zero is a stationary point, and also one minus nine x squared equals zero. Okay, I can't solve one plus nine x squared actually because that has no real solution. Okay, and you can check here if you're unsure. So you have x equals zero. And then when you solve the 
third bracket equation is the, the one in purple key. When you rearrange it as here, you have that x equals um, plus or minus one third. Okay. And then I can work out the corresponding, okay, y coordinates. Okay. So when x is zero, okay, that works. Okay, do you have, do I have any x? And then obviously when you sub in, obviously x is one third. Okay, you have one ninth times nine. So you have y squared minus y is zero. So you have y brackets y minus one. So the y value here will be either zero or one. Okay. Okay, for when x equals plus or minus a third. Okay, and again, check it if you're unsure. When x equals zero, you have minus y equals zero. So when x is equal, equals zero, y equals zero, okay? Three guys about, about my like jerkiness here on my keypad, I apologize. When x is zero, y is zero, okay? And they are all my points or stationary points of this implicit function, okay? So again, yeah, that was worth a total yeah, of eight marks. So eight chunky marks there in the exam. Okay, there we go. That's done. Okay, question number four. Okay, a bit more trickier now. Find the derivative of y equals arc tan x. Okay, step one, take tan of both sides because arc tan means tan inverse key so the opposite of tan inverse is to tan both sides okay so you have tan y okay is equal to x okay so arc tan means tan to the minus one okay or inverse tan okay uh, a double yeah we obviously write it yeah as arc tan arc tan just means the inverse of tan okay now differentiating yeah so differentiating um implicitly so the derivative of tan y goes to sec squared y dy by dx, okay, is equal to the derivative of x, which is equal to 1, okay, divide both sides by sec squared x, we have, sorry, sec squared y, sorry, we have dy by dx, or dy over dx, is equal to 1 over sec squared y, we also know that sec squared y is one over cos squared y, okay? So do I by dx here, yeah, okay? Using the reciprocal notation, okay? Also equals um, cos squared y. And again, if you're unsure, double check it, okay? Because you have one over one over cos squared y, <laughs> dividing by one over cos squared y, is same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so times by cos squared y. So do I by dx is equal to cos squared y, Okay, and that, guys, is my final answer, okay, or cos y all squared, and that's my answer for question number four, okay, and that is the end of today's video tutorial looking at implicit differentiation, so a very, very popular and a hot topic for your paper two exam for AQA, especially in OCR, OCR, MEI, okay. But yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best. Bye for now.